Hey guys, EA Pete here, and welcome to episode one of EA Pete. This is a series where we will talk about my favorite company of all time, EA Sports, and we'll play my favorite video game ever, FIFA 21, made by EA Sports. Before we begin though, if you're new here, please subscribe, and let's say our daily EA affirmation. I love you, EA Sports. I love you every day. Thank you for the games you give where we can all pay to play. Oh, that reminds me. Let me get my credit card ready before we get in. Okay, let's log in. FIFA 21 made by EA Sports. Just every time I see this logo, it just brings joy to my heart. Makes me feel so good knowing that a company like this brings us all a game where we can enjoy our football in such an excellent manner. But let's just get logged in. I'll be curious to see what new content we have today because we just had a promo expire. So I'm not sure what all we will be given. Will we be given some new squad building challenges? Yes, let's go in in English, but EA Sports accommodates for people all over the world. They are just like that. We will skip this, this logo here, but we'll go on into the match or go on into the game. Let's connect onto the EA servers. Thank you, EA servers, for all the wonderful wonderful connections you give us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get in. Let's log in to our ultimate team. Now, I wonder what else we will be getting soon. I don't I don't know, but it's that'll be part of the fun. You just you never know what you're going to get. We had an outstanding team of the week 16. Oh, the team of the weeks have been so great and getting these red picks from weekend league. I love playing all 30 matches of weekend league and getting like an 82 to 84 rated to get into my squad or never see my squad. Either way, it's just so much fun. But first, let's take a look at some new SBCs today. Let's see. I see we have new icon SBCs. So let's take a look at what we have new today. Oh my goodness, Bruno Fernandez won another Premier League Player of the Month. And that is exciting news for me. And I will tell you why. Because I actually completed last month's Bruno Fernandez. Let me show you this here. Let me get off of this team. Let me go into my main team, which is over here. So let's go into this one and I'll show you. See, I completed this Bruno Fernandez Premier League Player of the Month SBC last month. So now EA is going to allow me to complete it again. And let's see, will they give me any credit for completing that previous Bruno Fernandez? Let me just see. I hope not because I would really enjoy just completing the whole thing again. There are six parts. Is there any discount for completing? the previous month's Bruno Fernandez. Let's see. 84, 84. I don't see any mention yet of Bruno. Oh, thank you, EA. EA did not give us any credit for, for completing a prior month's Bruno Fernandez. But look here, if we get we can get six more packs, I can get another mega pack, a rare election players pack, a premium gold players pack, a rare mix players pack. EA, you are too kind to us. We will get six new packs for just completing this little Bruno Fernandez player of the month all over again. And then I can have the 92 Bruno and the 91 Bruno that... Ugh. They just, they never cease to amaze me with what they will give us. So thank you for that, EA. Thank you for that Bruno Fernandez opportunity that I can go through the whole joy of completing Bruno Fernandez Player of the Month all over again with no reward for completing them last month. So I really appreciate that. But let's see, let's go back. Let's see what else is new today. I guess I wanted to take a look before we begin. Let's take a look. Do we have any promo packs today? Is there any type of promo packs that we are given? Uh, Oh my goodness. Well, what? My mom gave me her credit card. Now what? Why would I? There are no promo packs. Should I just buy 7.5k packs? Should I just buy those? Now, I mean, should I just buy 12,000 FIFA points? Now, if we're only buying those, should I get 24,000 FIFA points? I don't know. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how many FIFA points you think I should buy to open up 7.5k packs. And now it's also, a, I will say that I've got one slight complaint with EA. I wish we could spend FIFA points on bronze packs. Like, you, you could just make them like 50 FIFA points for each bronze pack. This one could be 100, you know, the same cost as, as a gold pack. You know, maybe make the, because it's a premium bronze pack. You're getting three rare bronze items. Why shouldn't that be 100 FIFA points? I mean, just like I said, EA gives us so much, so I'm not one to talk, but I just, it would be nice if we could spend our FIFA points on bronze packs. It would just be something that, that would be nice. So I, I'll just wait for your comments down below. Let me know how many FIFA points you think I should buy to open up 7.5k packs, but we'll get to that maybe on episode two. But let's take a look. Uh, maybe, let's see, we've got Weekend League going on right now. Maybe let's go into a Weekend League match. Let's, let's just see what we can get in Weekend League. Okay. Here we go, we're in our weekend league match. And one thing that is really cool, if you notice, we both have white 
kits out there. That is so cool. It's really funny, like, when you can't tell who your teammates are. You don't know who to pass to. You know, I'm not sure. Is that my teammate? Is that my opponent? I, I just don't really know for sure who to pass to or where to go. That was just really comical. I love it when in a foot champions match, you know, our primo primo events are ones that we qualify for so many rewards for that we can have kick kick clash like that it's really funny now we did get a goal i mean i'm sorry to my opponent there for for scoring like that but i was just having too much fun with the kick clash we do make sure to give our goal here now watch this this is really funny vander sorry did not even move he did not even lift up a finger to try to stop that shot that was hilarious i mean because it is. It's in the game. It's in the game, people. So here we go. Oh, we we come back. We do get another goal with Hungman's son. That, that was pretty funny. That was a nice goal that we were able to get right there. I wasn't sure if I was even passing to them with, with the kick class that was going on. But we do. We like to give up late-minute equalizers to go into extra time. So we do, do get, are able to go into extra time right here. We go into a little bit of extra time. And an extra time, I do make a pass. I get a get a nice goal. It's a nice fair goal, just able to kind of go along the, the, the line and pass back. Now watch this. EA does a tremendous job there. That was a foul on my opponent, and they called it. Now watch this. Vandersar is stuck behind the net. He doesn't know it yet. Now but watch this. Watch this. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, so we call our players back. Now Vandersar is going to get ready. He can't, he can't make it through the net. He cannot make it through the net. Now we are in, in stoppage time of the first half of extra time and foot champions. I have the lead three to two, but Vander Sar, don't watch him. Watch him again. He's going to run up. Oh, he's going to just hit the net. Oh, he's going to run up. Oh, he just hits the net again. This is so funny. Oh, I just can't tell you how many hours of enjoyment I get. I mean, I hope every match can end this way where we can just sit here and see who blinks first on trying to have to leave the game to have to quit. Now, whoa, be really funny or really great for EA is if this happened in like the finals of like the, the huge mega esports world champion event that would be hilarious like I don't know what they would do but I'm sure EA Sports could solve it I'm sure they could so we've still got Vanderstar just running up he's still trying oh we're at the seven minute mark now of, of stoppage time in the first half of extra time and you can see there he has his Dries Mertens I have my defender I believe that's Joe Gomez they're just kind of hanging out there they're both just having a nice chat about how much they love EA how funny this is they're like oh that's silly Vanderstar I mean he is what 60 years old at this point 50 years old I don't know he may have a little little trouble getting around the net. EA understands that, that maybe he would not ever figure out to walk around the net, then maybe kick the ball. I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's really, I just love how it's in the game. But Vandersar is still, he's running up on my gosh. This, I mean, this would never get old. And the cool thing about this, what you guys may not realize when this happens is it goes in real time. Like, notice the clock is, like, ticking. It's not in that fast six minutes for 45 minutes. This is actual time. So we're going tick, tick. So it's just building up. It's almost like playing a full 90-minute football match. And it's in the game. So now we're still, we're at the 12-minute mark of the first half of stoppage time. And this would never end. This could go on until FIFA 22 if we wanted it to. I mean, that's how cool this is. I mean, just think of that investment. We can, we spend this money on a game. We can buy all these FIFA points. We can do all of this. And we can play a full 90-minute, we can play a full six-month FIFA match if we want to. Now that is value. Thank you, EA Sports. Thank you. So now we're in 19 minutes, and this is where it gets good. You know, Vandersar, so he's still running up. Oh, my gosh. That is so funny. Vandersar's running up. Oh, my gosh. Is he ever going to kick the ball? I don't know. I just don't know if he's ever going to. What? My, now my opponent quit. Why would he do that? It was just starting to get good. I tell you, some people are so toxic in this game. And that's what leads EA Sports to getting a bad name out there. Just some of these community members are so toxic. Like, why would you leave in the middle of that match? Why would you do that? It was just... It was just getting good. And our opponent leaves in the middle of the match. I just... Don't know what to say, but we'll take a quick look. We do have some icon SBCs today. Let's take a look. We do have some new icons. Today, we were given Roberto Carlos. 
Fabio Cannavaro, and JJ Okocha. Now, what's really cool, what I love about EA, they don't overprice these SBCs. They make these untradeable cards basically the same price or a little bit more than their tradable counterparts. So you can have this untradeable JJ Okocha in your team that's just there. You know, once you're done with him, you, he's just in your team. That's great. That, that's really fantastic. And I appreciate that EA Sports does this. But anyways, guys, this is going to wrap up EA, EA Pete for now. Again, thank you, EA Sports, for all that you do for us. I really appreciate it. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe. I will see you on the next episode of EA Pete. Thank you. Bye.